If you're watching this video, I probably guess that you already know what is an in-memory database and what is a NoSQL database. Let's see what is AeroSpy and how is it combining in-memory and the NoSQL concept and making it a faster database than anything else. And let's see how Flipkart or why Flipkart is using AeroSpy. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. AeroSpike database is an extremely fast key value data store or a distributed hash table or a what you call a NoSQL database. However, it also provides the features of in memory database, so it's called an in memory open source NoSQL database. So why is it called like that? It has the support for hybrid architecture. So hybrid architecture is nothing but you have a flash memory. So you have the flash drive, the SSD uh, solid state drives, and also the DRAMs, the normal hard drives. So when you have AeroSpike installed in your clusters, which are having SD RAMs, right? The writes are completely faster. So it is all like almost five to 10 times faster than the normal DDR RAMs. So this makes the software faster the memory faster since it's already in memory it is completely faster and also it is written in c language so that is another thing there is no layer so it has three layers however aerospike that that forms the aerospike's architecture right so you have uh, a data layer which is nothing but the client layer so which is the last layer the next one is the distribution layer and finally the storage layer uh, storage layer is where the hybrid stuff comes into picture distributed layer is when um, there is a distributed cluster configuration and you get the data replicate consistently across these uh, uh, distributed uh, regions the client layer is the one which uh, takes care of managing um, which node to be redirected to based on the request coming from the different users right? so these are the different um, uh, layers inside um, aerospike Apart from that, um, if you know who is using AeroSpike is uh, uh, InMobi users. If you have uh, heard about InMobi, InMobi users, there are lots of other firms which are using AeroSpike. The major one is the Flipkart. So if you are uh, in India, you might probably know what is Flipkart. Flipkart is an equivalent for Amazon in India. So they are using AeroSpike for storing their data. That is why their UI is faster. So let's see, uh, let's explore some of the um, key features, right, of the AeroSpike database. So let's go to the architecture page and see what is there. So these are the different layers which I mentioned, the client layer, the cluster layer, the storage layer. The cluster layer was the distributed layer. The client layer is where the um, APIs or the applications are written. So if you notice here, these are the different applications. Uh, you can write in any language and you have the AeroSpike cluster okay so this is the client layer so the client layer is where all the data is pushed to or the requests are pushed to right the cluster layer is, is where the nodes are managed uh, for uh, maintaining the consistency of data across nodes right the final one is the storage layer where um, the flash uh, space and the DRAMs are handled in efficient way right so that is what uh, this last thing is. finally querying querying is just the uh, last part querying the data from these across these three layers so this is how it looks like right so why do we need aerospike right already there are too many NoSQL databases there is mongodb there is cassandra there is um, redis redis is not a NoSQL database but it's a key value store so like uh, like that there are lots of uh, in-memory databases as well right so like NoSQL database there are lots of in-memory databases as well right? like hazelcast or uh, apache geo in-memory data grids Right. So what is AeroSpike doing? How is it different from these two, right? These two concepts. So AeroSpike merges the concept of uh, in-memory and the NoSQL database. So how does it feel when you have the power of uh, NoSQL database in an in-memory database? So if you know H2 is an in-memory database, it is obviously faster than a relational database, example, Sybase or DB2. How is it faster? Because it's all in-memory. Same way, imagine, NoSQL database is already faster and how is it 
um, going to fare if it is an in-memory database, right? So that is what AeroSpike is. So let's see what AeroSpike um, says as a features or something different from the other uh, NoSQL or the in-memory databases, right? The first one is the predictable performance. So um, there are tests run over the AeroSpike database and they have proved that they have consistent uh, performance with 1 million transactions per second. So which is humongous. I've never seen a system claiming that they can process 1 million transactions per second, right? The next one is a uh, high availability and uptime, right? So this is provided by any NoSQL database. So there is high availability in AeroSpike as well. The next one is the low total cost of ownership. So AeroSpike has improved um, its performance with around 20 percentage of the cost of ownership, which is, which is what they claim compared to a traditional or a relational database like Sybase or DB2 or Oracle. So you will save 20 percentage of the cost which you are going to incur with AeroSpike. Right. The next one is the superior scalability. So you will be able to easily uh, add new nodes to the cluster inside AeroSpike. So that is what superior uh, scalability is. All about. The next and the major one is the hybrid, hybrid uh, memory architecture. So this is what I mentioned earlier as well, the flash memory versus the DRAM. The flash writes are completely writes and the reads are completely faster. If you have uh, used the SSD RAMs inside your uh, Linux machine or your Windows or your uh, Mac, right? You had probably known that SSDs are costlier and the speed is extremely fast. And AeroSpike supports the SSD and the DRAM, so it is going to provide you five times more um, performance than the traditional DRAM, which is running an AeroSpike cluster. The next one is the real-time engine. So AeroSpike can be used for uh, real-time data application like your Redis uh, key value store. So it can provide both real-time and the analytics data as well. So if you have huge amount of data, you want to store it somewhere and then you want to do some analytics over that, you can still use AeroSpike for that purpose. The next one is the dynamic clustering. So this is where the data is distributed across the clusters which are inside the AeroSpike. So you have, uh, you have a cluster and you have different nodes. The data or the requests are distributed across the, um, sorry, not the request, the data is distributed across these um, uh, clusters. So they're across these nodes inside the cluster. So basically your data is replicated in every uh, node in the cluster. So that is what dynamic cluster, cluster management means. Smart client is the uh, load balancing of the data request which are coming from the client. So you let's say there are thousand requests coming in. If there are 1,000 nodes in the cluster, the request is all split to each node based on the load it, it is able to process. Right? So smart client is nothing but the load balancing uh, concept. The next one is the flexible data model. So the data model is structured in the uh, AeroSpike database. However, it is schemaless. So you don't have to define a schema unlike uh, Cassandra if you want to have a, a structured uh, data there. Right? If you want to have the data model, uh, which are having unstructured data, Cassandra doesn't fare well. However, AeroSpike has support for schemaless data, right? So that is why the data is flexible. The data model is flexible. Next one is the geographical replication. So the distribution layer takes care of this uh, replication across the geographics. So that is what it means. Enterprise readiness. Uh, AeroSpike has been in the industry and has been used by different enterprises for the past uh, five years and more. Right, so that is what the last step is. Right, so uh, if you uh, that is it, I think about the product as such. But um, I'll tell you uh, one good thing: the there are pretty good documentations on uh, on how to use AeroSpike. Uh, just take a look at it. I'm also going to download the AeroSpike database and I'm going to try it locally. Um, let's see how it fares well. Right, but I just uh, saw some of the documentations; they are pretty good. So if you are using a Windows or Linux version, you can directly download it from here. I'm going to download the Mac OS version, but I'm not sure if um, how much memory does AeroSpike take in my laptop, right? So I'm not sure about that, but still I'll uh, go ahead and try it out. The other part is the documentation, which I mentioned, uh, the examples which are there here are pretty good. So there is an example here. If you see, there is an end-to-end -end, uh, web application. There is a step-by-step -step application. There's a play framework with Scala and Java, Node.js, um, this is java there are so many examples here right the first one being the end-to-end -end one which uses uh, aerospike express database angular js um, etc right it's a pretty insane application so you can have an end-to-end -end field of uh, 
uh, how does the aerospike database feels like when you use it with a, a angular ui right so take a look at this particular github project i i am not sure if i'll be able to set this up but if uh, aerospike is running in my mac os at mac os so i'll be able to um, get some example and then i'll be able to show you some demo of uh, how we can use aerospike right and i also saw someone has created a spring boot um, a wrapper around the spring boot project for a uh, project or library basically for aerospike uh, spring boot hasn't officially created anything but um, i think aerospike has created a spring boot version for uh, using it in, inside spring boot but let's see um, i'll be trying that in the next week but you can also give it a try and let me know how does it fare there right? so if you are here for the first time in the channel uh, do like it do share subscribe uh, for more videos about uh, similar concept on nosql spring boot etc devops etc that's it for this particular video guys hope you liked it meet again in the next video thank you very much